Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel and Eid Mubarak. Today is actually the day before Eid. Today we are prepping. We have got to get things together. I'm going to show you guys our Eid outfit. We've got those planned out. I have to run some errands and I'll just bring you guys along Eid. Can you guys hear the rain and the thunder? It is not the most ideal weather for Eid, but sadly it's going to be raining like this. Like literally all of Eid, which kind of sucks because it's been like literally the most stunning, gorgeous, amazing weather. All Ramadan, honestly. It's been so nice. We've been sitting outside a lot. You guys saw we got in the hot tub the other day outside and I was like, oh, like we'll invite everyone for Eid to our house and we'll sit on the patio and stuff, inshallah. And looks like we're going to be sitting inside. But that's okay. Hopefully this means that we'll be just seeing lots of flowers blooming in the next few weeks and whatnot with spring and everything. But anyways, let me show you guys what we're going to do for Eid outfit. So obviously I'm going to be wearing my collection. And I'm so excited to see you guys, those of you who decide to wear the collection as well. But I decided to go with this one because I can breastfeed in it. And I don't know, I'm just feeling the springy vibes. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I kind of forgot about getting Elena an Eid dress. And she has several dresses that would work, but she's always so excited to wear a new dress. And I found this one from Ivy City. Let's see, I literally had to overnight it in order for it to get here in time. But I thought it would match my dress as well. How pretty is that? Uh, I'm so excited to see her in this. We are pink girls this year. Can't forget about JoJo's outfit. I've had this since before Ramadan because I just thought it was the cutest thing ever. It's a little linen vest and shirt, a little bow tie, and some little linen shorts. This is from H&M, so cute. Poor Omar, I did not get him anything new, but he's got some stuff in his closet that'll work for Reed. I really should steam everything today so I don't have to worry about it in the morning. So let me do that now. I need to go run some errands though because I need to get gifts for the kids for Reed. Jonah, he doesn't know anything that's going on right now, but I feel like I need to get him something too because I can't not get him something. It's his first aid. So I'm gonna get Elena something and then we can get Jojo too. Okay, I am out running errands right now. I just picked up some cookies to serve guests tomorrow when they come over. You guys saw that I made mamul, but honestly, I'm not like that obsessed with the taste of them. So I just wanted to have these as backup. I have these for my Galentines and they're delicious. They're shortbread cookies with frosting, so buttery. So good. And then who doesn't love chocolate chip cookies? So I think we're good on dessert because my mom is also making some pound cake. And she's also bringing some other dessert as well. Now we're headed to Target to get the kids their Eid gifts. Okay, major fail. I forgot my vlog camera when I went into Target, but I'll show you guys the toys that I got them when I get home and I'm gonna wrap them and all that kind of stuff. Actually, I didn't really get wrapping paper. I just got bags because I'm one of those lazy moms. So we're gonna put them together. <laughs> Okay, wanted to show you guys what I got for the kids. So I honestly got a little bit more for Lele than I did for Jojo because he doesn't know what's going on and we don't need any more clutter. We have so many toys. I got her this little like automatic faucet thing, which she is going to love this. Also got her her baby doll with a bow, which is what she asked for. And this one came with like all the stuff to give it a bath and take care of it. And she's gonna love this. For Jojo, I got him a little game controller with like you know music and stuff i thought this would be perfect for us to be able to take on the go especially because we have a trip coming up it's just easy to take with us plus i feel like he would be very entertained with this so now i'm gonna wrap them up and hide them until tomorrow The thing is though, Omar's mom showed up yesterday and brought Eid gifts early for the kids. And let me show you guys what she brought. She got Elena this little bumper car, which she has been obsessed with and it's so cute. She came by the other day, brought the best gift and like this delicious mamul. And here I am with my mamul that like didn't even turn out. And I'm like, oh my God, like she brought even better gifts, but you know what? That's what grandmas are for. Good morning, everyone, and Eid Mubarak. We are on our way to Eid prayer this morning. Are we gonna be late? What time yeah, is we it? are gonna be late. Well, what time is the prayer? Nine. It is 8.55. But I'm hoping that they're a little behind. Usually they run a little bit behind, so maybe we will be lucky and make it there in time. But we're not that far away. Yeah. We're probably like 10 minutes away. Yeah. <laughs> so if anything, we'll be five minutes late. Hopefully not. Show yeah. Allah. But we have literally, the kids are ready, we're ready. I feel like, feel like we did good this year. We did year. good, yeah. I think we, we made it out pretty quick. Yeah. So the plan is we're 
were just discussing like what our plan was today. I think we always go to brunch, so we'll probably uh, have brunch after we go do the eat prayer. And then we usually don't really have anywhere to go except, I don't know, we like go get coffee and whatnot afterward. But I think we're gonna invite everyone to our house. And I have not finished like fully getting the house all ready for that. So I think while Jonah takes his nap, I'll like straighten up a little bit. It's not gonna take much. I just need to straighten up and put like cookies and fruit out. And I think we're just gonna just chill. And then maybe we'll figure out what we're gonna do for dinner tonight. But I hope you guys had the best eat. While we are going through our day of festivities and spending time with family and friends, our hearts are continuing to be with our Palestinian brothers and sisters who are still under terrible conditions yeah, and facing genocide facing and, genocide and you know it seems like every every Eid in recent memory like we welcome it with like heavy hearts because there's just so much injustice in the world there's honestly so much like it just doesn't feel completely right to just fully enjoy the day when we know that our brothers and sisters are suffering. That's kind of where our headspace is right now. So yeah. we have to stay you know, positive for the kids. And yeah. we, you know, that's just, that's life, you know? And they, Elena has no idea. Jojo yeah. has no idea of what's going on in the world. So Watch out. we, yeah, we just have to do our best to you know, make this fun for them and yeah, just try to stay positive. Try to stay positive. While we do what we can yeah. in our power for yeah. Yeah. the people of Palestine. Yeah. Yeah. Walking camera. into your camera, I have it. Walking into Eid prayer with my little family. We finished with the Eid prayer, and thankfully I wore this dress because I just had to breastfeed yeah. him in the car. And now we are about to go in to eat some brunch with the family. And Jojo looks so cute. Never showed our Eid outfit. <laughs> I know. Jojo. With the bow tie, he's dressed better than me. He really is. <laughs> he's had two naps already, so he's a little rough in his hair. Good morning, everybody. And Eid Mubarak day two, because Eid yesterday was crazy. I got no footage at all, basically. <laughs> Yesterday, we went to eat prayer, we went to brunch, we headed back here, and the kids were cranky, and it was just mom life yesterday. <laughs> we didn't really get to do much else, but today, we're gonna open presents, because Elena still hasn't gotten her Eid gifts yet, because just everything was chaos yesterday. So I thought we'd open presents today, and I have a present for you too, Jojo. Hey, Elena. Here we go. Okay, let's open, which one do you want to open first, this one? This one. It's a little sink. And it puts water, it, it pours water out. Wow. That's so cool. Do you want to open up the next one? Because we can play with this later outside. Yeah. This is the one you asked me for. Wow, ask me She asked you for it? <laughs> can I play in the playroom? Can I play in the playroom and open up? She told me she wanted a baby with a bow. Can I open up it? Yeah, we can open it. Do you like it? Yes. You have to I say, open. say thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Can I? And say thank you, Baba, too. Thank you, Baba. Habibti. You're so welcome. Do you like it? I got two. Can we open it? Yeah, we can open it. If you guys didn't notice, she can had to wear open a it? dress again. Can we open it? I'm excited. Yes. Can we open it? Oh. Oh, you're right. We didn't open up Jojo's present. Jojo, come here, baby. Here we go, Jojo. Let's see what he does. Can he open it? He's, oh, we're going to see if he can find his present in there. Oh. Open it, Baba. Whoa. <laughs> He's like, no, nah, I'm going to play with this charger cable. Oh. My God. <laughs> oh. Can you give it to him? He likes it. He likes it. Can you open this? Can you open this? 
Yeah, we can open it, Mama. It is a few hours later. I'm dressed to go have lunch with our family for the second day of Eid. And I am so sorry this vlog has been so all over the place. I don't even know what I filmed yesterday because it was such chaos. I'm telling you guys, like, I was just, like, over here. I was nursing Jonah and getting him to sleep. Then I was go tending to Elena because she was tantruming because it was such an overstimulating day. Like, it was just... <laughs> this is my first Eid as a mom of two. And let me just tell you, check on all your mom friends <laughs> and ask if they're okay. <laughs> because it's hard out here. Also, my house is a disaster. Literally, since my sisters were here, I haven't done anything. We're gonna be in dire need of a house reset post Ramadan and Eid. I just wanted to say how proud I am to be a part of this community because you guys, collectively, over the course of Ramadan, we came together and raised almost $150,000 for the orphans of Gaza and for urgent medical aid to the victims of Gaza. I cannot tell you guys how proud I am to be a part of a community that gives back and does such good for others. And I'm just so grateful that I'm a part of this and you know I can help in any way that we can. I hope that you all had an amazing end of Ramadan. I hope you guys had an amazing Eid. I love you guys so, so much. And I enjoyed taking you guys through our Ramadan this year. And I will see you guys in my next video, inshallah. Bye.